Right. Hey everyone, it's Caitlin Gustav here, and we are at Rancho Rio. We just finished the 11 and a half mega qualifier, and we have Wade Woodbury and Julian Lopez, and they just topped off this roping, winning first 31-41 on four head. You guys, 32,000, over 32,000. How does that feel for you? It feels great. I couldn't ask for a better day. I've never had one quite like this either. Definitely, and I mean, we got to talk about it. You took home third as well. Yes, ma'am. 25,000 just on your just on the heel side how about that yeah no that's great i'm at a loss for words it's cool that we have an event to go to like this and i'm just at a loss for words it feels amazing that's it's awesome great. and wait how about on that head side what were you thinking going into the short round right there yeah, well, we finally drew some good steers and when i watched tyler come out and make a run ahead of us i'm like well we got a second on him going in so let's see what we draw here and Took one extra swing, let Julian do it. He's been doing it all day, so. Definitely, yeah, and you guys had Tyler Montano behind you guys. He just won a rope in yesterday, so definitely not one you don't want to bet against right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. He didn't back down a bit. <laughs> definitely. Uh, and let's talk about those horses you were on. How about that head horse right there? <laughs> well, he belongs to my daughter. She bought him as a three-year-old, and I took him away when he's about five, and I bought her another one to start training so I can give him back when he gets old and maybe she'll have another one ready. So. <laughs> awesome. And uh, what's his name and age? Uh, he's ace and he turned 14 this year. Awesome. So he's been in the been in the family for a while. He's been around since he was three. So. Awesome. And what about that little gray heel horse? That little gray heel horse is amazing. I actually do not own him. I've been riding him for a couple months for our buddy of mine, uh, Tim Gonzalez. He, he has uh, flying T rope horses, but... He owns him, but I definitely think I might try and buy him. <laughs> I mean, he's worked really good for me a lot of places. So, yeah, he's a really good horse. Definitely might put this, these paychecks down on that horse. Yeah, I might have to. <laughs> <laughs> um, and were you guys planning on roping here originally, um, or were you guys going to the World Series finale? We were going to the World Series finale and getting a rope outside there, and when this was our only option, we are just like, well, here we go. Yeah. we got to go somewhere. Yeah, same. Yes, ma'am. Definitely, definitely. And uh, what are you guys doing for a living? Uh, I'm actually a journeyman electrician mm -hmm. by trade, so yeah, sure like to do this. If it was <laughs> like this every day, I'd do this for a living. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. How about you, Wade? I manage a hardware store, lumberyard feed store in New Mexico. Gotcha. gotcha. Well, congratulations, you guys, and good luck at the rest of them. All right, thank you. Thank I you. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you, guys. Thank you.